J.J. Watt coming back to the Houston Texans. Yes, I said that correctly, and I will say it one more time. Is J.J. Watt coming back to H-Town? What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host, as always, Harley Dugan, J.J. Watt is the topic of conversation with the Houston Texans on a possible return. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I said a possible return. Or is he just is he just joking around? Are we going to be calling his bluff? We'll have the video right here in a moment. Make sure you are subscribed to the lead. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. Remember, my name is Harley. This is the lead. It is all Houston all the time. Let's get into this, man. He was on the Pat McAfee show, and it, this is fun. This is so much fun to talk about as we get J.J. Watt possibly joking around, I would say, but uh, it's fun to hypothesize whether or not he's coming back. Oh, my God. I think I just uh, heard J.J. was playing football again. Yeah, yep. Either the Lions or the Steelers. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, Pick your poison. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. You, you, you think I would go to I mean, if you think about it, it. Use, use, use our brains for a second here. If, we're, if you're going to go somewhere, obviously you, you speak about Pittsburgh because my brother's there, but is there another team that's playing incredibly well right now who's got a quarterback that's crushing it, that's I, I got, one for got you. a lot of connections? Like, I mean, let's use our brains. Yeah, I got uh, one for I don't you. Think, I'm, I'm struggling, you actually. Like no, Cardinals? I got one for him. No, no I can't think of it. I got Miami. one for him right, yeah. right yeah. there. Right I think D-Buck could probably. Yeah, right, right, right down one. there. There'll be a guy right next to you, too, who I was about to ask you about with uh, Sheldon Rankins, 98. Just had a, there you go. <laughs> had a J.J. Watt-ish game. Through. That does not get you going. That does, if that does not get you going, I don't know, man. J.J. Watt there with the Pat McAfee show. A little bit joking around whether or not he'll come back or not, but he did say if he was going to come back, would be the implied team that Darius Butler, former cornerback for the Indianapolis Colts, by the way, very good podcast. Make sure you check out his podcast. I don't know the name of it, but make sure to check it out. JJ Watt implied that he could be coming back to H Town, he could be coming back with the Houston Texans. <laughs> If you haven't checked out the Believe in Texans podcast, where myself and Ruben, Mr. 713, as a lot of people know him, we have a podcast where you can stream anywhere on your podcasting platforms. Find us on Spotify, Google, anywhere, Apple. We have been mentioning before the season, of course, what if J.J. Watt came back to this Texans team, if they were performing well, if they were exceeding expectations in when would it happen for a lot of fans saying, oh, well, he's been lifting, he's in shape. He's not necessarily in football shape. So if he comes back, let's say, the week after the Cardinals game, then you're looking at a guy that's going to have to take at least three weeks to get into football shape. Then you have him for the remainder of the season. And then we had a former NFL player, Ed Smith, who was just on us to talk about the Cardinals game. Make sure to check it out on the live stream I have down below in the channel. He mentioned, like, there's soft tissue injuries that could happen. It's not going to be pretty if J.J. Shut up, bitch. Watt comes back. It's just not going to be this Herculean Superman performance. He just comes back like nothing ever happened. This man did just have 12 sacks for the season for this Cardinals team. Um, but coming back to Houston, energizing the fans, everybody getting hyped. Why not? Why not bring back J.J. Watt in a situational pass rush role and have him rock and roll with D'Amico Ryans as head coach, C.J. Stroud at quarterback, and damn it, if they're bringing J.J. Watt, why not us? Why not? J C.J. Stroud is on the path of becoming MVP this year, the first one since 1957, according to the NFL, since Jim Brown, that could happen. So if we're shattering records, if we're breaking records, if we're doing the impossible, why not bring back Mr. 99 J.J. Watt? And why not go after that chip for J.J.? Why not? Why not us? We've upset a lot of teams. We continue to play damn good football because what did D'Amico see? Damn it, we're a good football team. Let's get 99 back in Houston. As always, guys. Go Ashers, go Rockets, go Texans. You have a blessed day.